IHGN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello Braves, and welcome back to another episode of Braves Beat. I'm Stephen Trainer, And I'm Andrew McGee. So, Stephen, do you have any plans for St. Patrick's Day next week on Thursday? Well, I'm planning on wearing green, because if I don't, I'll know in a pinch. <laughs> We've got a lot of news to cover, so let's get on with it. For this week's International Women's Month, we would like to recognize Wendy Carlos, an American composer who created the music for Tron and other great blockbusters. She also helped in the development of the MOG synthesizer. She ended her career with a total of three Grammy Awards for her work, an outstanding accomplishment. Indian Hill High School junior Vivian Sue just completed an independent research project with the University of Cincinnati Research Experiences for Undergraduates Program in Chemistry. She trained as an engineering explorer with GE Aviation. She is currently doing her Indian Hill AP seminar research on Chinese immigrants into the United States. Oh, did I mention she's an award-winning dancer? She, she is also a cellist in the Cincinnati Symphony Youth Orchestra. Congrats, Vivian, on being an amazing role model. Conquer the Hill is back. Mark your calendars for Saturday, April 23rd. Conquer the Hill is a family-friendly event with fun for everyone. The 5K race starts at the high school at 8.30 a.m with games for kids at the finish line, which is located at Tomahawk Stadium. If you register by March 31st, you get a free shirt included with your entry fee. Click in the link in the description to register. Send over to our sports team for this week's sports report. Hello and welcome back to yet another sports report. This week we have a lot going on, so let's get right into it. This week, both our boys and girls swimming and diving teams are CHL champions. This is the first time in school history that both teams won the CHL in the same year. The boys team finished first at sectionals, fourth at districts, and fifth at state. The girls finished second at sectionals, second at districts, and seventh at state. Let's recognize these swimmers and divers who advanced to the state championship at C.T. Brandon Nanatorium in Canton, Ohio on February 24th and 25th. Gibson Holmes, Jason Zell, Jeffrey Wenker, Jack Edmondson, Arjun Veliathan, Bernard Stogie, Kathy Zell, Anna Palin, Isabella Pivor, Marianne Uria, Delaney Quinn, Zoe Castinson, Josie Festa. All results can be found at IndianHillBraves.org under the Swimming and Diving Team pages. Gibson Holmes won his fourth and fifth individual OH, OHSAA state championship and was named Swimmer of the Meet. He also set state records in the 200 individual medley and the 100 butterfly during the preliminary round. Congratulations to all of our Aqua Braves. For wrestling, Andrew Boyke and Adam Christo competed in the district wrestling tournament this past weekend, but both lost in the second round and did not qualify for the state meet. Congratulations on a successful season. Go Braves! The Indian Hill School District welcomes new golf coach Adam Boehm to lead both Indian Hill High School golf programs for the 2022-2023 school year. Coach Boehm, a 1993 graduate of Indian Hill High School, joins the Braves from Alabama where he is a Class A PGA member, has more than 12 years of experience in the golf industry, and has developed a proven track record in golf management and instructing all levels of golfers, including four state championships. Hmm. Well, that's all the sports we have for this week. Back to you guys in the news desk. Great job, Brian and Isaac. The Indian Hill National Honor Society and the American Red Cross are hosting an upcoming blood drive on Tuesday, March 22nd. It will be held in the auditorium lobby from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. You can also sign up using the link in the description below. The need for blood is constant, and only volunteer donors can fulfill that need for patients in our community. Nationwide, someone needs a unit of blood every two to three seconds, and most of us will need blood in our lifetime. So please consider donating to this great cause, and thank you for supporting the American Red Cross Blood Program. Have you ever been curious about what goes on behind the scenes in filmmaking? Then this two-week camp is for you. The Cincinnati Academy of Performing Arts is offering another film production camp this summer. The camp takes place on July 25th to 29th and August 1st to 5th. The cost for this two-week camp is 575 bucks. If you are interested, click on the link in the description. The Exploring with Grace 5K is on Saturday, March 19th, 2022 at 50 West Brewing Company. Please come out and join in the cause. Plus, your dog is open to run by your side. Register in the link in the description below. So, I heard you went out in the hallways and did some student interviews. Is this true, Stephen? Uh, yes, me and Daniel did this. This week is better than ever. Check it out. This week, me and Daniel are asking people questions that are on uh, the U.S. immigration test. I pass. What are the three branches of the U.S. government? One, two, and three. 
That's wrong. What's the 19th Amendment? I'm going to rephrase the question. Do you want suffrage for women? Yes. So what's, so what's the 19th Amendment? Women's suffrage. Oh, what's this? Because that's right. All right. What is the supreme law of the land? Um, I don't know. Not it. How many red stripes are there on the U.S. flag? Ooh, all right. I'm going to say seven. That is correct. Do you support women's suffrage? Uh, I, I really don't want women to suffer, so no. Incorrect. How many senators are there in the U.S. Senate? A uh, hundred. This is correct. What's an amendment? It's a, like, change. Oh! That's right. How many stars are there on the U.S. flag? 76, Steve. No. uh Who is the first vice president? George Washington. How many amendments are there? 27. This is correct. The 23rd Amendment of the United States. Mm-mm. That's like, uh... No. What do we call the first ten amendments in the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. I loved it, Stephen. You're really going places. Oh, I know. Are you interested in purchasing a yearbook for the 2021-2022 school year? If so, contact Mr. Grise at the email below. This year is... This year it was... No, I'm just going to go from this year. This year it was made entirely by our fellow students. Shout out to all the students that participated. Plan on purchasing your yearbook before the. Plan on purchasing your yearbook before you leave for spring break. And finally, if you have a good photo that you'd like to be added to the yearbook, email Mr. Grise. I know you're all waiting for it. Here's the esports catch-up for this week. Our Valorant and Rocket League teams are soon to play in their first week of regional play. Wednesday for Rocket League and Thursday for Valorant. Last week, our Valorant teams beat Grandview Heights High School three to nothing. They also beat Kings two to one. Great job, gamers. We would like to give a big shout out to our award-winning vocal music program. Our premieres scored straight superior ratings in the AA large group contest last weekend. Congratulations. Don't forget to set your clocks forward one hour from two o'clock to three o'clock on Sunday morning as we move to daylight savings times. That's right. I hope you have nothing to do this weekend, because you'll lose an hour of sleep. Well, that's all the news we have for this week. So be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And remember, remember stay, stay classy, classy in, in you know. know.